the top five monthly dividend ETFs to earn passive income. That is right guys, the ETFs on this list do not pay out dividends every quarter like usual ETFs do. Instead, they pay out dividends every single month. So you can either take these dividends as passive income and put them into your bank account, or you can reinvest those dividends to get those sweet compound interest returns. Now I'm going to explain everything in this video. I'm going to dive deep with these ETFs, including the fees, the initial investments, how much you will get paid out in dividends, and absolutely everything you need to know. Now, before we jump into this video, I just want to mention that my mentor has opened up a few spots for his free workshop. As I said, there is only a few spots, so it is a first come, first served basis. And this workshop actually allowed me to earn my first $7,000 a month online, so it is definitely worth your time. And if you want to sign up, you can use the link down in the description. So if you are interested in earning monthly dividend with ETFs, then keep watching as this will be the most valuable video you have ever watched. Okay, so let's start out with number five. And this is going to be SPHD or the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. Now you can see that this is actually very, very low volatility. It started off at $40 and then we had the crash right here. You guys know what crash this was. And then we came right back up and we are actually trading slightly above what we were five years ago. So that is awesome. Now you guys might look at this and think, why, why would I invest in this? If we started off five years ago at $40 and now we are only at $45. If I invested in the S&P 500, I would be way up on this, but you would be forgetting about the dividend that this pays out. So if we take a look at the dividend yield for the SPHD ETF, we can see that the dividend yield is 3.21%. And as it says, and as it shows here, this is paid out every single month, January, February, March, April. We have a 0.21%. 3% expense ratio which is pretty high and if you guys don't know what expense ratio is it is effectively the management fee for the ETF so every year they will take 0.3% of the shares you have and kind of sell them as a management fee so if you take this dividend yield and we actually have a look at the expense ratio right here this actually drops a little further to around about a 2.9% dividend yield when we take into account the expense ratio a payout ratio of 45% and an annual dividend of $1.46 for every share you buy. So I won't lie here guys, this is definitely not the best ETF you can invest in. We have a very, very slow growth combined with not the greatest dividend yield. That is why it is number five on this list. It's pretty decent, but in my opinion, it is certainly not the best. Next on the list, we have the Invesco Preferred ETF or PGX. And over the past five years, I won't lie guys, this stock has been looking pretty bad, especially with the returns we have had, especially with the sort of returns we have seen in the past year. PGX just hasn't kept up to it. I mean, we started out five years ago at $15 and we are now trading at $12 per share. Certainly not the best. But guys, I will say that this ETF does have a saving grace. Uh, before we talk about this though, let's talk about the expense ratio, which is very, very high at half a percent. Actually, slightly over half a percent. And if we take a look, and this is the saving grace, guys. We, we do have a 5% dividend yield, but if we take the expense ratio away, this is more like 46 so 4.6% dividend yield and this gets paid out over a monthly basis. So if 4.5% dividend yield paid out monthly, my maths is terrible. So I'm going to say around about 0.4% per month, which isn't terrible. Uh, it wouldn't be terrible apart from the fact that the stock has been going down over the past five years. So although the, it does pay out a very nice dividend yield, and we also get paid out every single month. If you had invested in this over the past five years and you had reinvested all of your dividends, you would be struggling to break a profit. Next of all, we have DIV, which is a very fitting name for a dividend stock. This is the Global X Super Dividend US ETF. Now, if we take a look at this over the past five years, we can see that once again, it has been going down, but certainly not as much as the previous ETFs. 
but certainly not as much as number four. Now this follows the New York Stock Exchange ARCA, and rather than following the top 500 market cap stocks, this is going to follow the entire market. Once again, we have a pretty similar expense ratio at 0.45%. So these monthly dividend ETFs have been pretty expensive so far in terms of the expense ratio. And if you guys aren't aware, if we just pull up another random ETF, uh, you can see that a, re a usual expense ratio on, on a solid ETF is anywhere in the range from 0.02 to 0.04%. So these monthly dividend ETFs so far have been almost 10 times the expense ratio, which is pretty bad considering that they have been dropping over the past five years. And although yes, we do get a monthly dividend that we can put in and compound monthly, so far, these stocks have not been looking too good, and you would have been better off just putting your money in a regular ETF. But continuing with Div right here, we have a dividend yield of 5.53%. Uh, once again, if we take away the uh, expense ratio, we get around a 5.1% dividend yield, which is the highest we have had out of any so far. Uh, the stock hasn't dropped too much. We have been going from, we have gone from 25 to $20. So of all of the monthly dividend stocks we have talked about, Div is in my opinion, the best so far. Now we get down to the final two, and these are my two personal favorite dividend ETFs. Okay, so first of all, we have the Global X Super Dividend ETF. This is SDIV, so just DIV, but with an S on the front. If we take a look at the five-year chart, here you can see that once again, we have been falling. But guys, although the, although the stock is down more than half of its initial value, you will see why this has made the number two spot. Now over with Estiv, we have a very, very expensive expense ratio at 0.58%, which is pretty crazy, I can't lie, that's a very, very high expense ratio, but, but if we take a look at the SDIV dividend yield, it is 11% per year. And the fact that this compounds over the months, we go monthly, 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 and this can compound over the space of the years, if you are reinvesting the money back into the stocks, then this can grow exponentially. Now you can see we go January, February, March, April, paid out every month. We have a dividend growth of 22% and a payout ratio of 58.33. So an awesome stock, a very, very high dividend yield. And now let's move on to number one, my favorite dividend yield stock. And guys, this one is absolutely incredible. Okay, so my number one pick is KBWD. This is the Invesco KBW High Dividend Yield Financial ETF. That is an absolute mouthful to say. So if anybody ever asks about the stock, you just want to call it KBWG. If we take a look at the five years of this stock, you can see that we are actually not down too badly at all from 24 to $17. So nowhere near the drop we had on the previous ETF. And you will see why this dividend ETF has the number one spot. Now we do have an expense ratio of 2.5% which is very, very high for an ETF. I won't lie, that is pretty crazy. But if we go over here, you can see we have a dividend yield of 9.01%. Now, the reason that this has the number one spot is because of the 110% payout ratio. Once again, guys, this is monthly. So for every share you buy, you will get paid out $1.58 in annual dividends. So guys, that was the top five monthly dividend ETFs that you can use to earn passive income. And please remember that nothing in this video is financial advice. I am not a qualified financial advisor and this video was made purely for entertainment purposes only. Now, if you found this video valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.